What up, peeps? Tony Baker here, back for another top 10. This time, it's just going to be a general 10. These are 10 things that distract me in movies. Even though these aren't officially ranked 10 to 1, I'm going to just do the, the number just so we can keep track, okay? Number 10, they always take too many medication pills. They take the little cap off, and they, they always do them like that. They never count how many they just took, and they just take it, man. Every time you take medicine, you can you get the exact dosage in there. Even if you're reckless, you might add one more by hand, like, you know what, I need the extra strength. You're never just gonna pour it in there. They always just go, ah, ah, and then they wash it down with some liquor every time. Like, come on, man, it's distracting. I know you're not really taking medication like that, unless it's a suicide attempt, but that's neither here nor there. Number nine, they never wash the road when they drive. They never wash the road realistically. Like they having an intense conversation. Some some movies, they just sitting there looking at each other for miles. They on a winding road. They be like, so you mean to tell me that you've been an operative this whole time? Well, you have an argument in real life. You're like, what you mean? What you mean? How can you? It's always a constant. Y'all could be breaking up in the front seat, but you still gonna watch that road. So you mean to tell me you've been cheating on me this whole time? Oh, how dare you? Boy, when we get to this gas station, you walking home. That's the real life guy. Or you just mad the whole time. You know what? When we get back, I want you out of my house. I want you out of my house. You gotta focus on that road. Number eight, the face wash, look at themselves in the mirror shot. It's always in movies, they go to the bathroom and do this. And then they look at themselves in the mirror, like I gotta get it together, what's going on with me? What's happening to me? Oh, what does my life become? I don't do that in real life. First of all, the bathroom sink is disgusting. All that teeth brushing that goes on in there, you're gonna fill it up with water and then dip your hand and, and do this? That's filth, okay, that's some filth. The bathroom sink is a cesspool of germs, okay? But they always, when, when was the last time you did this? Hmm? You'll get a washcloth, you'll, you, you'll use the washcloth with some hot, maybe cold water and do this. But never just the biblical hand scoop of just, and then you look at yourself for two minutes. Like, oh, oh, I gotta let the audience know I'm going through things internally, so I gotta look at myself in the mirror. It's overdone, we get it, all right? Let's find something else. All right, number seven, when they throw up in movies, they never rinse their mouth out, they never brush their teeth, they just throw up and keep talking. That's unrealistic as hell. Even if you're not home, you're gonna find the restroom like, Hugh! And they just, I don't know what happened. The, the, the monster came out and killed everybody. We gotta get out of here. And nobody ever reacts to the breath. Have y'all ever thrown up before? It's a horrible, it's a horrible feeling, first of all. But that taste in your mouth, you gotta address it immediately. Number six, when they're fighting, they get punched. They look at the blood on their hand. They look, like, ooh, oh. Oh. Like, what do you look, you know what it is. You know it's not Drew. Just nobody, uh oh, 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 it's real now. I gotta look at the, I gotta look at the blood now. They always look at the hand. Like, if you punch me in the mouth repeatedly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume it's blood. There's no need for me to look. I'm gonna wipe it with my shirt or a napkin, like, oh, okay. All right. Now I can see if you're trying to get it all off, then you look at the nap and you're like, oh, okay, I think it's gone. I think it's gone. But that initial hand check, like, oh, 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 it's real now. Stop doing it, man. Stop with the hand check on the blood tip. You know what it is. Number five distraction, the unprotected sex every time. They never use condoms in regular movies. Have you noticed that? Unless it's a big deal, like if it's a comedy and they're like, oh, do you have the condom? Unless they talk about it in the scene. But when it's just a regular movie, they just smash raw every time. Like they, I guess they don't want to distract from the storyline, but they always just passionately make out and they do it right there, raw, no condoms. And it's usually a quick two pump moment, like ugh, ugh, no condoms. Like, what's going on here? I don't even think you pulled out. You gotta stay protected, man. Promote protected sex out here in movies, okay? Which leads me to my number four pick. 
They never struggle to get it in during sex. Let me tell you something, man. Sex with a person, a new partner for the first time, there's always a getting to know the body type process. I don't care how old you are, you've been having sex for, for, for decades. But when you get with a new person, there's a struggle a little bit. There's a struggle to get in there. Everybody's built differently. There's no struggle, there's no fumbling around, there's no missing the, the entryway. It's always just a smooth going. Like, oh, yeah, just real smooth and easy. In real life, it's Fumble City out here. Like, oh, wait, hold on, just go slow. Wait, I, all right, slow it down. Okay, all right. It's a struggle. Who's just sliding in like this? Just hopping on, sliding in, nothing? I don't know, man. Especially in the heat of battle like that, you're just gonna be like, the fumble around. Come on, man, make it more realistic, y'all. Number three. The gun cock shotgun pump. They always gotta cock it back. They always have to do this to let you know, oh, the gun has been pulled. All you gotta do is pull it out. We see it. Is the safety on? That's all we need to know. But they always make it a big deal. Give me those access codes. They always, just in case you didn't hear me, they pull out the gun. I'm not giving you nothing. Oh, yeah. Even if you just show it to me in your pants, oh, you strapped. Well, the access code is 2165. Even if I resist, you can still just be like, well, you see the gun, I'm gonna I'm shoot you. Oh, and then they always pump the shotgun. <laughs> All you gotta do is have a shotgun. People are gonna do what you need them to do. You know, they always make it a point to <laughs> ah, don't move. That's number three. Number two, never make a connection with the main character, okay? Just never do it. Never, never have that connect. Never, never let the main character tell you how much that you mean to them. You're gonna die in the next scene. So that's how I can tell who's about to get killed when the main character's like, "Hey, Tom, man, I love you, man. All day, I'm always be here for you." Tom is dead in the next scene. Whenever you had that little connection, that little moment, I don't know what I'd do without you, man. Thank you, man. Whenever they stop dramatically to thank you, oh, you dead me. Whenever there's a happy family in the beginning, oh, this happy family is getting shredded. Like, oh, my kids, my wife, oh, I love my wife and my kids so much. The house is blowing up as soon as he leaves. Never make a strong, loving, happy connection with the main character or your character is toast. Number one, the thing that distracts me the most, and this is actually number one. If I rank these, this would be number one for real. They never finish their food in TV and movies. They never finish. It drives me insane. They never finish. It'd be a full spread, full meal, freshly cooked breakfast. They get down there like, yeah, yeah, you're not eating? Oh, I, got, I gotta run, mom. They grab a wedge of toast and fly out the door. Never mind the omelets, it was pancakes, sausage, bacon. He grabs a dry piece of toast, sticks that in his mouth and gets on the skateboard and gets the hell out of there. No, that's not realistic. Even the busiest kid is gonna grab the omelet, grab the toast, put the omelet in there, put the bacon and sausage on there and make a sandwich to go. They had to cook all this for the scene. Who's eating this? Anyway, man, y'all let me know in the comment section below, what distracts y'all in movies, man? There's always these common things that just distract the hell out of me. Let me know what distracts you in the comment section below. What do you think of my list? Have you noticed the things I'm talking about? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as usual, we out here.